The Pixix Ocean will sail from China to Brazil. Yes, that was an actual picture of the vessel, courtesy of Cargo and thecooldown.com. The ship has been retrofitted with wind wings. The maritime industry is looking backwards literally thousands of years to bring decarbonization back into fashion. According to the article, the trip will take six weeks and obviously every scrap of data will be harvested and studied to death. Cargill, Yara Marine, Mitsubishi, Bar Technologies, they're all in this together. These massive structures can be adjusted to maximize the use of the winds at sea, obviously saving up to 30% on fuel. Jan Dealman, president of Ocean Transportation at Cargill, says that it is not an easy process, but we have a responsibility to pioneer decarbonization. Wow, more of this kind of thinking. We might just be able to turn this ship around, hey folks? The shipping industry accounts for 2.1% of CO2 emissions, according to the BBC, about 837 million metric tons, two N's, two E's, so about 923 million imperial tons. The difficult part will be measuring and convincing others of a consistent and realizable economic impact. The wording is up to 30% savings. This is not an average or a median or even a realized savings at a consistent level. John Cooper, chief executive at Bar Technologies, says if one sale can save 1.5 tons of fuel per day, then four sales can save six tons of fuel or about 20 tons of CO2 per day. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that the surface area and the number of sales is not a direct or linear impact on force and speed. But I get the enthusiasm, and it seems to me as the technology may have staying power even into the era of clean burning fuels. Up to 30% is not a statement that impresses me. What is the actual realized consistent impact? With cyber fuels, it's 20% savings on average of your Class 8 fleet.